Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. This is your regular Tuesday chronic pain session. Uh, it's a regular weekly video and MP3, which you can download on my SoundCloud um, podcast for free. And it's really aimed at looking at chronic pain from different angles, looking at it from a, a way of acceptance, but also from an angle of, okay, well, how can we change your perception of that physical sensation? So instead of giving it this all power, you know, giving it all the power and um allowing it to control your life you can just take a step back and say you know what no you know i accept that it's there and there's a reason it's there and i hope that you'd only watch this video if you know what the reason is uh, that you've had a diagnosis of the cause of that chronic pain if you haven't, then turn this off and please make an appointment, an appointment with your doctor, GP, medical practitioner, or you know, go to the hospital, whatever um, is needed or required, so that you know the cause. Because pain's there for a reason. Uh, quite often, it's there to remind us or to alert us of something that isn't maybe quite right isn't going on right maybe something that's wrong maybe an illness maybe um, something we need to be taking and paying attention to when it comes to things like chronic pain although it is there for a reason a lot of the time it's also pointless a lot of the time so there are some chronic pain conditions where having pain is of no use at all. In fact, the condition is just the pain. There isn't anything, um, I wouldn't say there's nothing physically wrong because there is. There's the, the joints, the, the nerve endings are triggering. So the brain is triggering the nerve endings and there's a stimulation which shouldn't perhaps be there or that is there you know accepting that actually that's a condition it's a neurological condition and you can't physically see it maybe there's other conditions like um, arthritis where it's useful to have the pain to a degree of knowing to be careful with that part of your body you know if you uh, if you were to walk around on an ankle that was got arthritis in and just ignored it you know didn't have any any physical warning for you to just be a bit gentle you could end up damaging your ankle or whatever part of your body in the same way as if you have a broken broken bone you need to be careful with that part of your body so if you've got a broken ankle you don't put weight on it not unless not until you're able to until it's safe for you to do so so I could really start every single video with a big long kind of explanation and talking about pain but the fact is if you're watching this video you know more about your situation than I will ever know you are the expert on yourself you are the expert on how you feel and in some ways it doesn't matter um, what the scientific or medical reasoning is behind how you feel it's ultimately about how you feel that's where I come in that's why I'm here I can't, I can't fix bones, I can't cure illnesses, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for that, I'm not, I'm not a snake, was it a snake oil salesman? 
I've been called that in the past. Um, years ago, I got called that. Uh, some people, because I was doing hypnosis and they thought I was trying to offer a cure or something, um, like some kind of false hope. And I, I don't, I don't offer anything um, in the sense of cures or, you know, what this is is about trying to give you some relief, trying to reduce those physical sensations or increase other physical sensations that you enjoy so that you can feel happier you know I don't I really don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be happy um, I see nothing wrong with wanting to feel relaxed and calm why shouldn't you want to feel that way and you know what if I can help you to get there even if it's for 10 minutes even if it's for half an hour an hour for however long it is then it's my duty to do that it's my job to do that and it means that my life is worthwhile so that's how I see it and I know it sounds dramatical um, but that's how I feel you know there's nothing wrong with you wanting to have some relief and there's nothing wrong with me offering that to you you know i'm not asking for money i'm just trying to help so as i was talking i love doing this stuff for this reason because for me this is a very creative um so i'm scratching myself it's a very creative uh, process for me because I don't generally decide what I'm going to talk about before I start. Sometimes I have an idea. Sometimes, you know, I've kind of got quite a firm idea, but other times I really don't know. And I just have to trust my mind, my unconscious mind, to come up with something useful, something suitable for that particular um, video that I'm making. And as I was talking earlier, I just had the ideal session just come into my mind. So I think we should just get on with it. I think we just do the session. And um, this is something that I have done before. This is a well-tested, um, should we say technique? It's well-tested and it works. So, I don't know what more, much more I can say to you uh, other than, you know, give it a go, do it with me and see how it helps you. So to start with, I think as always, we need to get, we don't need to get into a relaxed situation or whatever, but I do quite like doing that. I like the idea of calming down. Hypnosis is focus. Hypnosis is not ignoring. Hypnosis is not going to sleep necessarily. You can use hypnosis to go to sleep as I use um, myself and I also do hypnosis for people so they can fall asleep. But hypnosis isn't necessarily for that. What this is, is to change how you physically feel in a particular part of your body and at the same time it will change how you emotionally feel in your mind so to start with i'd like you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so and remember you can open your eyes at any time you're going to be alert you're going to be traveling along with me we're kind of hand in hand traveling along on this short journey during this session. A short journey that actually leads to a longer journey because even when this session finishes, you can re-listen to it as many times as you choose. And the more times you listen to my voice, the more relaxed and naturally you feel. And if also you'd connect my voice to feeling calmer and having more comfort in that part of your body that you have been focusing on during this session 
So naturally, just by seeing my face on the camera, you know, on the uh, video, and hearing my voice, you'll naturally go back into that sense of comfort that you previously experienced, which is a shortcut. It's kind of like a very quick way of doing it, in a sense. And um, I think I whistled when I said quick, 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 quick. Hmm. So this is the session. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to, first of all, just lead us through a calming session, a calming moment where we can become mindful of how we physically feel. So before we do that, I'd like you to focus on one part of your body. The part which you would like to have more comfort in. Whether it's your shoulder or your stomach, your back, your head, your foot, whatever part of your body you would like to have more comfort in. And just notice what level you would give it. Zero being completely comfortable, 10 being the worst it could feel on a pain level. So given it a, a, a number out of zero to 10 on the pain level. And just logging that in your head. So maybe if it's, let's say it's a five or a six, maybe it's higher, just log that down. You haven't got to write it down. It's just a number to remember. Um, it's easy to remember a number. So if you want to write it down, you can write it down as well. So now if your eyes can close naturally, uh, just let them close if it's safe to do so. Remembering that no matter what you do, you can always open your eyes and you can also change the way you, your body is positioned if you feel you need to do that because you know there's no you don't win any any points for being uncomfortable there's no point to that it's the reverse to what i'm aiming for also before you close your eyes make sure you're in a comfortable chair or a comfortable bed maybe a flat surface a sofa whatever feels best for you uh, ideally, if you are sitting in a chair, make sure that it has arms or something. So not proper, not real arms, but like wooden, uh, something to protect you so that if you did fall asleep, you remain intact. You don't fall out of the chair or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> you remain intact. Your head's not going to fall off. It's fine. Um, so what we're going to do now with your eyes closed is just focus first of all overall on your body just a sense of how you feel as if looking on from outside and stepping into yourself and just noticing how you feel you can maybe move your body around a little bit if you're able to just move your shoulders, maybe move your neck just gently if it's safe for you to do so and your head, maybe your eyes, just um, moving your eyebrows up. So stretching the muscles around your eyes, moving your jaw from side to side, up and down gently. Noticing your back, maybe you can just stretch some of the muscles in your back, your upper back, middle of your back and of course your lower back maybe by moving your hips from side to side gently you can feel your lower back stretching also your chest and your stomach I mean maybe you want to just uh, tense some of the muscles in your chest and let them go maybe tense some muscles in your stomach and let them go being aware of your arms loose maybe you want to tense some of the muscles in your arms your upper arms maybe your shoulders as well and just allow those muscles to just let go as you notice your hands and if you choose you can hold your hands together in fists and just hold them there for a few seconds 
if it's comfortable to do so and then just let go maybe just move your hands around gently allowing your fingers just to be loose noticing your wrist how loose your wrists feel and now noticing maybe your thighs you can tense some of those big muscles in your upper legs maybe your calves as well and then just relaxing those muscles allowing your legs to just sink deeper into the chair or bed or flat surface and lastly you can move your ankles around moving your feet around just allowing your feet to just get heavier relaxed loose and maybe if you want you can move your toes around as well just moving your toes allowing your toes just to wiggle a bit and you can enjoy that feeling of moving your toes moving your foot around now focus on how you emotionally feel how you feel inside your head how your mind feels just noticing how calm your mind is your mind doesn't have to do anything it really is just a case of listening to my voice and just following very very simple instructions it's just following the words that I say and it's going to be easy there's nothing complicated about anything that I ever do I don't do complications everything I do is easy and simple and useful and it works so what I'd like you to do is we're going to have a feeling we're going to focus on two feelings go in between those two different feelings to just experience the changes it's basically based on the idea of um, you know when you fill a bath up with hot water and or it could be a sink if you're about to do some washing up but if you fill the bath up with hot water and it's way too hot to get in so you have to you have to put some cold water in because the hot water is too hot but what happens is imagining that the hot water is pain for example because it would be painful to put your foot into that but then the cold water enters the hot water the idea is to cool it just so it's enough for you to have a good temperature to get in and you know feel comfortable and have a you know a nice bath but then if you put too much cold water in the bath is then too cold it's just not warm enough to actually have a, a nice bath and you just go to try and put the hot water in again and it doesn't seem to matter how much hot water you put in it never heats up it's just gone below a certain level and nothing can nothing you can do it just won't heat up again 
to the level that you want it to. So that's what this technique is. It's the same kind of thing. It's the same kind of idea really. So I want you to do two things. First of all, I'd like you to first of all focus on a part of your body that feels really, really relaxed. Um, it could be any part. A part that you've never had a problem with, if you know you've always feel comfortable in that part of your body, that muscle, uh, and just you know be be alert of that and just focus on that part, noticing how it feels. Just being aware of that, and you can, in a sense, you can outline it with a sort of, in your mind, with some kind of marker pen, you know, just outline that part, the part that feels the most comfortable on your entire body, the most relaxed part of your entire body, right this minute. And the weird thing about it is when you actually do that, that part of your body actually feels even more relaxed, even more calmer, and there really is a big difference between the rest of your body and that one part. It really, really starts to just melt away to the point where it's just so relaxed. And you can allow that to relax even more. And you can just allow it to happen on its own because it will. As you now focus on that part of your body which was causing you problems the part that you measured from zero to 10 on the scale before we uh, started relaxing. And as you concentrate on that part, I just want you to notice it. Again, I'd like you to put an outline in your mind around it. And just notice it, notice how it feels. Maybe it's throbbing, maybe it's um, sharp, maybe it's, you know, it's lots of different words that you may use to describe how it feels at this present moment in time. But just allow it to be whatever it is. Allow it to be there, accept it, you know, there's no negativity at all needed. It's just a case of it is what it is at the moment knowing that actually the fact is you're listening to my voice and however it is now will change even though it's probably already beginning to change now as we focus on it. Now I'd like you to focus on the other stuff, the other part, the really deeply relaxed part. And this is where, as we talked about the hot bath, that problem part, is the hot bath full of hot water and now you've got that really relaxed part and that's the cold water coming into the hot bath so every time you focus on that really deeply relaxed part and then you again focus on the other part the problematic part something changes automatically and you don't even need me to say the words because it just happens naturally and you can just observe that moving back to the other feeling the other part of your body noticing the feelings of relaxation and again moving back to that part just noticing how it changes and I kind of have a sense of separation. It's as if the outline that was there before is now starting to have lines within, separating it, making it more manageable. And then focusing again on that part of your body that's 
deeply relaxed. Really just enjoying that feeling and noticing it. Noticing how easily you can feel that relaxed in that part of your body. And it's as if every time you focus on that part of your body, you're absorbing that part of your body. And then when you move to the other part, you just drop those feelings into that part. In the same way that the cold water cools down the hot water to the point where it's no longer able to be hot. And just notice how that changes deeper and more naturally. Now focusing on your right arm, focusing on your left leg, focusing on your right leg, focusing on your stomach, your chest, the whole of your back, your left eye, your jaw. When you go back to that part of your body that was deeply relaxed, you'll notice it's even more relaxed. As you become more deeply involved in these feelings. As you focus back on that other part of your body. Noticing the changes that are occurring, the physical feelings are changing in a way that may surprise and delight you. Relaxing that part of your body in ways that maybe you didn't even think was possible. Focusing on your feet and your knees your stomach, the back of your neck, focusing on that part that was deeply relaxed. And it's becoming harder to tell which part is relaxed because that sense of relaxation is spreading throughout your whole body. And that line that was there before is now vanished because it's no longer able to contain that feeling of deep relaxation as it spreads throughout your body. It's deeper and stronger than ever before, a sense of deep relaxation and comfort. As you now focus on the other part of your body and it's less, it's less to travel because it's so close now because that part that's deeply relaxed, that's spreading, is moving closer to that part, which is also relaxing more and more with every piece of attention you give to it. The more comfort, calmness. And in a sense, at the moment it feels like maybe you know, it's about to be flooded over with relaxation. As that relaxation spreads, it does flood right inside that part of your body that was problematic before, filling every inch, full up with comfort and calmness, completely relaxing that part of your body completely calm and loose on a count of three 
you can open your eyes feeling wonderfully relaxed and calm one two every time you hear my voice you can feel relaxed and calm more comfort in all the parts of your body especially those that need it the most Three. Open your eyes, noticing how you feel physically and emotionally. And I'd like you to just go back to that part of your body and just notice what level, what scale you would give it, zero to ten, and compare it to how it was before. And notice how much more comfort you feel how much more relaxed you feel and how easily you can accomplish this sense of comfort and that comfort will only increase every time you watch this video every time you hear my voice you will feel more relaxed and comfort in that part of your body and the rest of your body as well So thank you for watching, my name is Jason and uh, I will see you again next Tuesday, thank you, bye.